uh, normally. Um, I have I have, I do have a bunch of renders downloaded, but see, seeing as how I do a lot of what if thumbnails, I do tend to go to DeviantArt to like, which is where I go for majority of my what ifs. I mean, majority of my renders, not what ifs, but majority of my renders for what ifs. So you can look there. But I go here. I I get 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 your. Maybe go to Essence for Satoru. Maybe they have to um, do they I have a lot of Gojo thumbnails. I have a lot of Gojo PNGs or renders. Like this. I did have another one I gotta find somewhere. Let's just use this then for now. I'm gonna use this for now. I got a lot to you, my Wi Fi is currently. I'm currently working with a place and the Wi Fi is not that well. So, holy, this video might be recording at a slower process. See, it's stuck, so. This is actually a thumbnail that I was working on previously. So I actually might have to exit out of it and go to go back into Pixar. Since I use E. I mean I know a lot of people use X, but E apparently E is the more advanced trans the most more advanced one. So I do you tend to use E more than anything else. You can use I recommend using 720 because uh when you do thumbnails you cannot go over two megabytes worth of from like a two megabyte picture, you cannot do that. So I do recommend you you to go to seven twenty, but I'm gonna be doing it on ten eighty. But do go to seven twenty if you're doing this. I know you are, um, Dre, Cartel. I know you're going to go ahead and do that. So I would recommend go to seven twenty, not ten eighty. I mean, because I used to make a lot of my thumbnails on ten eighty. Well, they weren't good. It's because I just wasn't as experienced with making thumbnails. Or oh, 720 at least. <clears throat> Again, since you did a Gojo thumbnail, I'm going to do a Gojo thumbnail.
All right, so we get, we got a we got the thumbnail. I know this is a, a tutorial for me to teach you how to do text effects. Or how I do my text with uh, thumbnail. So I'm gonna show you right quick. Now, I, since you seemingly use how can show, I I do use it for thumbnails, especially if you see my recent thumbnail. I did use it for that. Do you have many different? You got Edo SZ, which I have used for some thumbnails back when it was a really popular font. I did use bangers. This is back when I was first making things. I used bangers as a font. Oh, I also use Aberus. I think that's how you pronounce that. Aberus. Well, something like that. I use that. But you're going for hockey show, so you can type it in. You 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 already know what's what you're using. You use hockey show. I'm going to type it in and how this should come up. So, bold your text and add an outline to it. Now, I do know the fact that my computer is extremely the Wi Fi, making my computer extremely slow because normally I'll be able to record this a lot better. So, do a what if type of well, do do like this. I don't, I don't do my fonts, I don't do my text like I used to do, which is where I used to put all the text in one. So, we're going to find a purple and then go find a purple. And purple right there. Use that black and put that black in the middle. Make sure these are all the these are perfectly outside. Get that black. And you click your purple. Don't finish. It, go to either that or to this. But if you want it to should be more pronounced, you go to the to the lighter side. And see how I got the gradient, how that looks. That's exactly how you how I got my text look. And then I just do what if um because I will I'll eventually I've actually thought about doing this what if before. So I'll do it. So I'll do it as a thumbnail. And if you want to do this what if before I do, before I do, you can have this thumbnail. I, if you just let me know once you finish watching the video. Because I'll make it public to you so that you can perform it. So that you yeah, so that I'll make it to where you could be the only person to watch the video. Or well, people who actually, um, not you to be the only person, but people who want to learn. Now, with my computer, it's extremely slow. So, since it is, I sometimes I have to wait before typing because of the fact is that it'll click something else. But don't, your yours should work perfectly. Would you want to center this out? Maybe. Yes, I do do mine individually.
And since you're doing your text like this, I do recommend if you're gonna do it, you merge it visible. But make sure you you make okay, like look. Before you do anything else, you make sure you on uh, you make the PNG invisible. Like hit the eye on the PNG and on the on the if you have your background already out, put your background on invisible and put the layer one in on invisible. As you and then go and merge visible so that all of the text merges together. Don't worry about too much about erasing it. I know you asked me how do I get my effects that way. So I'm going to do that too with this tutorial. And why is everything else popping up? I'm pretty sure if they're not in the server, in the three server, I'm they're probably in my server, but I'm gonna put them in the three server first. I think I'm pronouncing the name right. I would hope so. I do mine like that with just these two or that one of them and then a, the other splatter one. And but this for this one, I'm going to do it a little different. I'm going to give that the arrow thing that goes from the R to the A. So it's going to somewhat blend in a little. So, just do exactly what I'm doing. You don't got to go over towards there. Just do that. Bam. You got to make sure that you get every single one or else it will not look right. I know my computer is going extremely slow. So, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Um. Make sure you get you hit every single one. But make sure you do not click the black. Don't click the black, click the white. Because if you click the black, then it's gonna select the every single black part of your text, which is not what you're looking for. Click the you click those parts. And I know it's slow, so it's not showing you at the rate that I'm doing it. You see how I clicked 
I click these parts right here. You see where my mouse is? I click those parts. So right where you can see that. And see there's a little white on there's a little white right here on this A. So make sure you zoom in to get this. And then you only have to click once. Don't go clicking all the time. I'm trying to get all or you can, but it'll be a hassle if you're trying to. Then you go to the eraser tool and use that. Obviously, you have your eraser tool that you use. I personally we tried to get it to 800 because my computer's been moving slow recently. Until I can get a new computer, this is what I gotta deal with. Or some better Wi-Fi. This is what I do it, and then you just make sure do don't erase the, don't erase the picture. Do not erase the render. Just erase to the effect. And if you need to, make that invisible, and it'll show you exactly what you're doing. But if you're doing it with text while erasing it, it should look like that. Now, you bring it up. <clears throat> you, if you well, don't use darken because it's obviously not gonna do things. I use lighten or overlay or not. So now that you have it on that, you you can go to darken and then give you that. from the search maybe to about five or six or four four to six or somewhere in those between those three numbers four five and six text and you got your render I'm just gonna really gonna just upload this as soon as it's done finished recording but go get you a background I have these background um, if you're at Izukage server I, or if you're not I suggest you join Izukage server they are in there these backgrounds 
this one was precisely I was given. It was given to me by thank God. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to share that or not, so I won't share it. But um, you could use that. This, this, this. Some of these are just modified variations of these types. So I'm going to go with this one. Now make sure that it's at the proper size. I want to go to your layer. Now you want to click on your background and you want to do luminosity. Which basically allows it to take on the hue of the color that you've chosen for this thumbnail. Now this is where you can play around with the render a little bit. Make it a bit bigger. Make it a bit bigger. Um, you should, you can add shadow to, well a lot of people, I know a lot of people add shadows to it. So you can do that. Now, now, a lot of times, if you're if you're gonna have your text on the background, on like this, and with the render over it, I suggest you add a little bit of a shadow to the render, but make sure that it doesn't cover majority of the text. But yeah, this is how you're gonna do that. And again, like I said, I'll give you this thumbnail, so I'll just. See how it's 2.7 megabytes. I'm actually gonna put it on, I'm gonna um, keep it like this. The one I'll send you will be the 1280 one. So that when you download it uh, from Pix, uh, from if you wanna do this series. But if you, when you download it from, yeah, Antiqua. Oh, you did ask me what Antiqua is. I honestly, I more or less created it at the same the other, um, the way, uh, thumbnail of anti. Chakra of knowledge was anti chakra. So, yeah. Um, Gojo Deku. That's really more or less how I do mine. Or Gojo Luffy. It, it was Luffy. I just put Deku. Because I was just in my My Hero thumbnail folder. Because I do My Hero thumbnails. I do some One Piece, DHD. I haven't done a DHD one in a while, so I'm going to do that. The, you don't want to know that. I forgot I wasn't recording like a normal what if. So. And normally I just go off on talks when I do that. When I want when I make one. But yeah, that's how you do it. And I'm actually